Good morning and welcome to the most exciting time of the day where we receive God's word through the Rhapsody of Realities. It is the 18th of March and Pastor Chris lets us know that sickness is not normal. Glory to God. In our opening scripture from 3rd John chapter 1 verse 2, John writes, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. Sometimes there are Christians and even some ministers of the gospel who are working hard for the Lord but at the same time struggling with some ailments, some kind of pain or sickness in their bodies. Some say it is normal to get sick, citing the prophet Elisha who died sick. This can be seen in 2 Kings chapter 13 verse 14. They also reference Epaphroditus that worked with Paul who in his fervor to serve the Lord became seriously ill and almost died. This is in Philippians chapter 2 verse 30. Thus to many sickness is normal. But no, it's not. First, the Bible never told us to model or pattern our lives after Elisha or Epaphroditus. Jesus is our example, the one we are to emulate. And the Bible says, as he is, so are we in this world. 1 John chapter 4 verse 17 He was never sick and could not be. He gave us the power to heal sicknesses and cure diseases. Praise the Lord! Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 1 says, Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. There is no record that Paul or the apostles were ever sick. Rather, they healed the sick. Read about Paul and Peter in the book of Acts Acts chapter 19 verses 11 to 12 and Acts chapter 5 verses 15 to 16. Follow God's word, model your life after the word, after Christ and learn from his great apostles of faith. They were masters over the elements of this world. They spoke to all manner of sicknesses, diseases and infirmities. They cast out devils who inflicted these pains on the people. That is the life we have in Christ. Refuse to be sick. Stick to the word of faith that stirs you up in the things of God and in the way of the Spirit. Meditate on the truths of God's word. Romans chapter 8 verse 11 says, But if the Spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his Spirit that dwelleth in you. This has already happened now that Christ lives in you. Therefore, arm yourself with this insight and dominate sickness and disease. Rule over the depravities and negativities of this world and their corrupting influences. Hallelujah! Glory, glory, glory! Today, if you are suffering any kind of ailments, you can decide to refuse to accommodate it in your body and affirm the word of God. Let us boldly declare this confession together as you repeat this after me. The truth of God is revealed in my spirit and I am walking accordingly. The spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwells in me and he has vitalized me through and through. He is the life and health of my physical body and the Lord's righteousness is revealed in my body. Hallelujah! In our further study section, Pastor Chris gives us these scriptures for you to study further on in the book of Matthew chapter 9 verse 35, Mark chapter 3 verses 13 to 15, 3 John chapter 1 verse 2, and Revelation chapter 22 verse 2. Hallelujah! We trust that this has stirred your spirit to let others know they can live a life free of sickness and disease because there is divine health in the life God has given to all men freely. When you find out who the Christian truly is, you won't want to keep quiet about it. Join us today by subscribing to this channel to receive articles like this from the Daily Devotional and don't just keep this to yourself. Bless your loved ones with the opportunity to hear God's word and their lives will never be the same. We want to thank 
all of you for what you're doing and moving the gospel forward as we continue to reach the ends of the earth with this message. If you want to receive this life in Christ, wait to the end of this video and you will be guided in the prayer of salvation. Let us know that you thought this was worth hearing by sharing your testimony in the comments down below and tune in again tomorrow and be blessed. We trust you have been blessed by this devotional. We invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying thus. O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe he is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name, I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Hallelujah! Congratulations! You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by emailing us at tni.msia at gmail.com That's tni.msia at gmail.com We look forward to hearing your testimony. You are blessed.